Maybe for a dollar twenty-five, I should just grab it purely for the mystery of the whole thing. <laughs> Welcome to another thrifting vlog. So we're going to hit up a thrift store today that it's been a while since I've been here, but they have a 10 cent clothing sale. So I figured I would come check it out. I got my mask, I got my hand sanitizer, I got my Clorox wipe for the uh, shopping cart and let's go see what we can find. Okay, so let's head straight to the clothes. I don't know how picked over this is going to be, but like I said, they're supposed to be 10 cents a piece. So I figured we would come take a look and see what we could find. Okay, so I think I'm going to grab this. The tag's coming off slightly. I can tack that, but I think that might be a slightly newer tag. And it's a really cute little sweater with those little sleeves. Looks to be in good condition. So I think we will grab that for 10 cents. Oh, this is a pretty good find. So we have these wide leg pants and they're by Oh My Dolls. That's a pretty good kind of like wagon look. Boho brands there. They should do pretty well. I'm going to grab these as well. Hot cotton. Uh, these are 100% linen. This is a good brand and it's like a skirt floral now. Mm, I'm seeing some staining on here. I wonder if that would come out or not. Maybe I should leave that behind. It's a nice maxi skirt though. I never really know if I should bother. Oh, there's another thing here as well. Hot cotton. These are the pants, wide leg pants. Again, 100% linen and they do well. I'll definitely grab the pants. Should I try and get the stain out of the skirt? Will I want to do that? <laughs> I think I'll try. For a dime, I think I will try. So we have Rebecca Taylor. I don't remember if that's a good brand or not. I don't know, but oh, it looks like it has a bunch of discoloration. Is that meant to be there or is it like a tie dye? <laughs> oh, it's tie dye, I think, because it's on the back as well. Okay, I think I'm going to grab that to try it out since I'm not sure if it's good. Again, it can always be redonated, but I feel like I have heard that before. Oh my gosh, that is so... 90s i love it all that pastel so i'm getting some serious like 90s vibe from this print and i kind of like the novelty of the fish i don't think there's any tags but i think it's kind of cool and it's in nice shape so we're gonna go just based completely on the style and the novelty of that one i get a simple quacker factory piece just with embellishment i mean that might be just sort of 9.99 but for again 10 cents into 9.99 is not too bad and it'll be quick and simple to list i think i kind of like this piece so this is 1997 bike week daytona with really cool graphics it's like a cut off um we do have some condition issues that i think i can get out but i think that's a really fun little vintage piece and it's a silk blend but it looks like we have a bead coming off and a couple of stains so we're going to leave that one behind today okay so i ended up finding like the mother load of hot cotton <laughs> all these 100 percent linen wide leg pants and another top i must have found about five or six pieces just next to each other so i'm glad that i came at this point because that kind of stuff can do really really well definitely worth grabbing especially at that price point all right so that seems to be pretty much it for the clothes like i said this is this sale has been going on for a while now so it's not like we were the first here um so it's pretty picked over but we found a few things i am gonna check out the shoes they're not on sale but i'm gonna check them out while i'm here and uh, just make sure there's nothing 
worth grabbing. Oh look, another pair of hot cotton. Again, these ones are a bit worn. I think I'm gonna leave those ones behind. This vintage piece is kind of cute, kind of cottage core again. Fortunately, it has a pull, so I think we will leave that dress behind. Anything in the linens? Let's check really quickly. I don't think so. No. So let's grab the car, let's look at the purses and the shoes, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, so the first thing that I have found is this pair of Sam Edelman espadrille wedges. They look to be in pretty good shape. Not sure how much. Uh, they've got quite a lot of glue on the back. Hmm. No. I think I'm going to leave them behind just because of the glue, which is kind of a thing that happens a lot with espadrilles, but I think that that will hinder them selling. So I'm going to leave them behind for now. See what else we can find. We've got some Crocs, but they look like little kid size. Oh, Batulas. These are technically Birkenstocks. So we'll grab those. They look to be in pretty good shape. Again, the shelves are pretty bare right now. I don't know if they've just sold a lot or if they just haven't been getting a lot of donations. Ooh, Crocs. Sandals. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll get them. They're kind of unusual. And Crocs can do well, so we'll grab those ones as well. Okay, make sure we didn't miss anything. Bionics. There's actually both pairs here. Both both shoes to make the pair. I think that'll wipe that off. Alright, we're gonna grab those five minutes. Those look fancy. Hmm. So this is a brand I haven't heard of before, Antonio Sorelli, but comps look pretty good, so I think I'm gonna take a chance on those ones today. Stuart Weitzman, are they really? Oh no, there's too much wear there on the heels. I kind of like them, they have those 80s vibe. They had some lucky brand, or oh, ankle boots. I think we'll grab those. Anything good in here? Okay. <laughs> One of these. Tevas, but definitely, definitely too much wear on those Tevas, I think, to sell. Unless, could I trim it? That's the question. No, I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to leave them. Hi. <laughs> Is it a bridge and a sunset? I wonder how much it is. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I miss some ties and some hats. Not if there's anything in here worth grabbing. really just looking for like vintage character ties, especially like the Disney ones or like big novelty ties. <sighs> no, I don't think we got any of that today. Wears at 50% off, so let's double check real quickly. Make sure we didn't miss anything over here. There's any craft kits? I uh, don't think so. Yeah, vintage trick or treat bags, those are cute. 1988. Huh. 
open, unfortunately. Is that sealed? Oh yeah, it's already been but started. Oh well. There's a, there's a cool. I never do well with those though. I'm gonna leave them behind just because of that. <laughs> forever picking them up and then just holding on to them forever because no one really wants them. Hello. Oh, by the way, for anybody asking about the mask that was being complimented, this is the one. It's uh, from Disney World. It's the Tiki Room, like an attraction. So just if you were wondering, this is the one that keeps getting the compliments. it's nice and quiet in here which is good just trying to steer clear of everybody everybody uh, what is this it's bonkers i don't know what that is hmm i couldn't find any comps for that so i'm gonna leave it behind but you know always helps to look things up once in a while you learn stuff that way what's this pokemon pokedex Huh. 1998. Hmm. Might grab that. If nothing for the kids, but I could look it up and see if it's worth anything. To see any interesting mugs. Those are kind of cool, but no. What's the brand? No. Hmm. <laughs> Sure, we're not overlooking any cool vintage toys or anything. I don't think so. <laughs> nice to meet you, unfortunately. Oh, oh, this is cool. It doesn't have the wire still. Let me see. It just plugs in there, so you could buy a replacement wire. So this will be a dollar. I'm gonna grab that. That's cool. I like that kind of stuff. What on earth is that? 91. Keep coming back to this. It's just so unusual. I don't know. What'd it be? It's 50 cents, it'd be like 25 cents. I may have to rec rescue her. It's just just different. But Pim's cups. You don't see them a lot over here. Hmm. I think I might grab those just because they're like I said, you don't see them a lot. You do England, but not over here. All right. Just keep looking real quick. We got small soldiers. Oh, it looks like it's not complete. It's just got the one. Oh well. Oh no, he is in there. Hmm. When is this from? 1998. He might be worth looking up. So this one looks like it will actually be worth a little bit of money. So. And again, it's half price. I think we're going to go ahead and grab this set right here. So, okay, so the next thing, we've got 125 on this. It just says WWF Attitude. I don't know. This thing feels full. I do not know what is in here though. Obviously has a handle. I don't know how to open the damn thing. Maybe for a dollar twenty-five, I should just grab it purely for the mystery of the whole thing. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, you know what? For a buck twenty-five, I'm gonna grab it and watch to the end of the video for me to show you what the heck is inside that thing. That one. Me and my 
this stuff. Make sure there's no other stuff. No, I don't do a lot of collection plates, but I do like the Disney ones. Huh. So I'm just checking the media to make sure I don't miss anything that's new and sealed. But I found this. It's not worth anything, sadly, but oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that was the thing, but I know all these people and I kind of want it for the car. I know, I'm not going to. <laughs> My husband would kill me. So I did just stumble upon all of these new and sealed DVDs. It looks like they're all the same brand. So depending on how much the DVDs are for new and sealed, and of course we've got January coming up with those kind of things sell well, I think I might grab this set just to see how it does. How are you? Doing well, thank you. How are you All right, so where would you like your hangers? Right, back. right here. Okay. So. Okay. What are you? <laughs> All righty. Thank you. Thank you very. Oh, can you put it in the donut? Is it on your side? <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> thank you all so much. <laughs> you're old. Sorry about that. Oh no. You have a great one. All right. So that worked out pretty well. That was not too bad at all. That was what thirty four dollars after giving the change to the donation jar. Thirty four total. We basically have a whole cart full, and we also have some interesting things in there, which is always kind of nice. You know, the shoes, there's clothes because obviously I went for the clothes being ten cents. But there's also some cool vintage toys, some house pieces, just some fun items that will be kind of like enjoyable to research and list, which, you know, spice things up a bit. All right, stay tuned for the haul. I'm going to go load the car. All right, you guys. So here is the haul from this particular thrift store outing. Um, I know I mentioned in the video, but all of the clothing was just 10 cents a piece, uh, which is amazing as a reseller or, you know, just anybody who's wanting new clothes, basically. Um, but the sale had been going on for at least a week at this point, and it was definitely picked over. However, I scored like a whole bunch of the same brand, which I'll show you in a while. Um, was really excited about that. So... Let me just dive in real quick and show you what I got. Let's start down here with shoes. I got a pair of Batulas now. The shoes were not on sale. They were $3 a piece. Batula is like, uh, it's under the same umbrella as Birkenstock, basically. You can actually see in there it says Birkenstocks. They're like slides, leather slides, but they're in really, really good shape. I can get that four off there with a little bit of like an alcohol wipe or something. I just need to trim a few threads, but they should do fairly well. Hopefully like 25 to 35 um, I have a pair of Vionic strappy sandals. I have come across this brand several times while I've been out and about, and I am yet to find a pair that is in good enough condition to sell. And now, as I say that, I see that they are damaged. Lord help me, Vionics are just not what I am meant to find. So, probably going to donate those. Never mind, it happens from time to time. Um, I did find a pair of Lucky Brand uh, like little ankle booties. Super cute, definitely have like a Western flair, so they should do pretty well as, as well for like the season. Um, these were a bit of a fail. I grabbed them because they were basically new. Barbette's dancewear, leather, made in the USA. They look kind of um, vintage somewhat to me. Just little gold dance shoes, but like I said, you can look at the bottoms and see. I don't think that they have ever been worn. Um, the comps are not amazing on these, maybe like $15 or so. Okay, next is a brand that I'm unfamiliar with. It is Antonio, I think it was Sorelli. Um, anyway, I looked them up and the comps were pretty good. You know, maybe sort of like 25, maybe a little bit higher. And these again are in really, really nice shape. Nice gray suede leather with sort of this two-tone accent as well. Just a pair of men's dress shoes. Also, when you find something that has a leather sole, it's often worth looking up just to see if it is anything interesting because that is obviously um, a sign of, you know, quality really. So that is why I decided to look these up in the store.
All right, last thing is this very weird pair of sandals. So the toes are meant to be like this, I believe, from doing my like Google search. And when you put your feet in them, it like presses them down. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> they're Crocs and Crocs can do quite well. They're definitely like a sports sandal style. Now they do say like men's nine. I cleaned them out and I did try them on because I'm a women's like 10 and a half or so. And they fit me just right. So that would kind of equate to that men's nine, I think. Um, but I would probably list them with both men's and women's sizing on them a little bit of wear there but not much at all so we'll see we'll see how they do they should have a style number i think down here where you find all of the uh, sizing information stuff so hopefully i can find out a little bit more information about those all right let's do some hard goods real quick and then i'll show you the clothes at the end so uh i found this uh obviously vintage um it is a unisonic is the brand um there's a lot of these online and the pricing is kind of all over the place unfortunately this one does not have the wire i always sell these untested because we don't have like phone service in our house we literally just have cell phones which many people do now and um, but these are very very iconic for like the 90s or so um this was two dollars and the, the housewares were supposed to be half off but literally the only thing she took off was for glasses she kind of said it was only glassware i don't know anyway the prices were so good i didn't feel the need to argue um but i just thought that was kind of interesting so yes anyway two dollars on this and i think i'm gonna list it sort of untested around that 20 to 30 dollar mark this i don't know what <laughs> what i'm gonna do with this but it was like i want to say it was 50 cents and i just thought it was really cool the bug eyes is what got me and i think that's a really interesting keyword to play around with it's also marked on the bottom with 71 i thought it was 91 at first but it's not it's 71 with a little sort of signature there it's literally just an ornamental piece there you go 50 cents on the back but i think there's some fun keywords and i think that somebody will sort of give her a little bit of a home and sometimes these quirky vintage pieces can do fairly well so i'm going to take a chance on her and do a little experiment speaking of an experiment <laughs> that's what this is so a while ago i passed up a bunch of latch hook um they were just like this really they weren't made into rugs yet but they were completed at a yard sale and one of my uh, very kind viewers told me like you should not have passed those up if they're cheap they can do really well and lo and behold yeah they can so i decided to take a chance on this i think it was 50 cents is what she charged me for she didn't even know what it was necessarily uh neither did i in the store but i figured it out now bridge with a sunset and a lake with a reflection and trees and all that good stuff um so I'm going to try this out again for 50 cents. This is a learning curve. I can see how it'll do, um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This one is sort of a new one to me, but like I said, I've been advised to look out for these. So I figured we would give it a test. All right, couple of glasses. We have Pim's glasses. Pim's is very popular in England, just in case you didn't know. It's an alcohol beverage. There's a little bit of wear to the glasses here, but nothing like horrendous. No chips or cracks or anything like that. So I think they were 25 cents each and then they were half price so you know hard 25 cents for the pair basically um and i don't see any listed online at all so i'm gonna just kind of test it out and see if them being a little bit more obscure over here is going to go in their favor i might list them for sort of 19.99 or so and just see you know how the marketplace reacts if you like okay this little guy was such a good find um 50 cents is what they had on this this is an original pokemon pokedex um by tiger electronics i think it's marked 1998 on the back can't quite remember um but yes 50 cents on this unfortunately the sticker is torn on the inside but it does absolutely work has a little bit of like uh wear or whatever to the screen down there but totally works really really cool find um definitely no super super i want to say retro but i guess it's vintage now because it's the 90s which is always kind of scary and um, anyway as i was saying this one has already sold so i'm gonna let you know right now i paid for everything that i'm showing you here a total of 34 dollars this uh, sold just now for 35 dollars plus shipping so obviously a little bit of fees has to come out of there it's about 12.5 13.5 but other than that pretty much paid for everything from this thrift store with just the little pokemon pokedex right here um so really really happy with that definitely keep your eyes open for these at yard sales they do well and this sold in less than a day and this was just like a last minute grab she only charged me 25 cents for this it is sort of new with tags if you like new old stock it's a bit older and um, i was able to research the logo which you can do at 
uh, what's it called now? Uh, sportslogohistory.com, I think is what it is. I'll try and link it down below if I can remember. Great resource to go and look at your different sports logos and you can basically d find out the era. This was sort of like up to the late 90s. So I know it's a little bit old. It's just a felt stocking, like I said, brand new. Uh, paid 25 cents. I got it up for 9.99 basically with shipping, but it already has a watcher. This was a bit of a fail. Well, I say it's a fail. It's not really a fail. It's a personal win. <laughs> but uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom commemorative plate. So this this was from when the park opened in 1998 still has like the wall brackets and stuff on it. it's not really worth a lot probably like ten dollars maybe 15 at a push i only paid 75 cents for it but i may end up keeping this for my disney on a wall just because i think it's a cool piece of animal kingdom history if all else fails, I'll just sell it for 10 bucks, which is still not too bad on a 75 cent investment. All right, I found a stack of sealed DVDs. They cost me a dollar a piece, so $5 for the whole stack. They are all Windsor Pilates and they are all brand new and sealed. I think I have them up now for like $39.99. We'll see how that does. But January and whatnot is really when these things start to move for me. So I wanted to get some of them into my store. Some cool kind of retro items here. We have Small Soldiers. This is from 1998, Karate Fighters. It is complete inside, except for instructions. In its original box, paid $1.25 for it. And I think I have it listed right now for $39.99, maybe a little bit less, but uh, they do tend to do quite well. And mine is currently the only one listed with the original box, which is kind of cool. All right, now for the mystery item that I picked up uh I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna open it up for you so you can see exactly what is inside um but let me show you the mystery so this was a WWF attitude uh carry case and I was assuming it was going to be like a little ring or whatever and it is so I'm gonna tell you right now that this wasn't a home run so there we go but I was hoping there might be some figures in here that would do well nothing really out there I have to say however it cost me a dollar 25 for this whole thing um it's from the 90s I think it was Titan Toys 1998 is marked on the bottom. It has a bunch of figures. It has like the little launchers. It has the ring. Um, this whole thing can set up like the wrestling ring. So I've got all of it up right now for $29.99, I think, on auction. I'm going to see what the marketplace does because there are no others listed right now. And then I can always drop that price or move it to buy it now with best offer, all that good stuff. But still, for $1.25, how could I not do that? <laughs> the, the mystery alone was appealing to me. Okay, and really quick, I'm going to take you through the clothes so like i said clothes were 10 cents a piece we've got ann taylor i do need to stitch this back on but this is i think the newer tag just a really pretty like forest green with a flared sleeve sweater okay we have two maxi skirts from hot cotton this is the brand i was telling you about that i just found so much of it hot cotton does well for me it's like wide leg pants or maxi skirts very lag and look boho all the good keywords so size large we have a navy blue maxi skirt we have a floral 100% uh, linen maxi skirt however it does have some discoloration that I showed you in the video so I'm gonna have to work on that we have a hot cotton top extra large so a great size absolutely beautiful like I guess like a fuchsia pink um just really 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 pretty again lag and look being a fantastic keyword that'll go up for easily 25 or so uh, I'm not too sure why I grabbed this other than it was a dime but it's just cold water creek so incredibly bread and butter size large um just a pink long sleeve shirt it'll sell but it'll probably take a while and it will only sell for sort of 12 to 15. I, this is a brand i do enjoy picking up oh my gauze again exact same vibe lag and look boho and um, these are very very wide leg black pants and then let me see oh this is one i haven't looked up yet but again same vibes this is called match point i may have sold this before i can't quite remember but it is a pink like tunic length with a ruffle hem and a ruffle detail around the neckline just like a very very tunicky top very loose fitting uh, rebecca taylor have not looked this up yet couldn't remember if this was a good one or not but it's like a little tie-dye t-shirt with this embroidery around the neckline we've got some very standard vintage high-waisted mom type cut tapered leg Dark blue corduroys by Bill Blast, very, very sort of 90s, perfect for the season. We have a vintage made in the USA cropped t-shirt that is from 1997 Bike Week Daytona Beach with all the skulls and cool stuff on it. Um, it does have some condition issues. I have to try and get those out, but I figured for uh, like 10 cents, I was gonna try it. J. Crew, just an Argyle sweater. Nothing particularly exciting there. Same with this, Quacker Factory size small, just a striped top with uh, the rhinestones around the neckline. This I thought was cool just because 
it is. Uh, so very, very 90s print, like it screams 90s to me. And then this novelty print with the fish and stuff, just a very loose fit t-shirt. Same with this. This is very 90s as well. Very loose fit, boxy fit t-shirt with the pastel stripes. Super iconic 90s look to me. Okay, and the rest of them are all hot cotton pants. So wide leg, 100% London pants. We have a like dark purple, same color as that top. We have a sky blue. We have a turquoise blue. We have a darker blue. We have a coral. And then we have like a beige if they're all the same size which i'll have to look at all the labels i'll just lock them up together and probably ask like 80 bucks for all of them or something like that if not i'll just list them individually probably for about 24.99 a piece okay thank you guys so much for hanging in there i know this was a long haul i just managed to get a lot of stuff which is always exciting because hopefully this stuff is going to keep getting me through winter i'm kind of listing as much as i can but i'm also stocking up as much as i can so i can have hopefully a fairly high turnover this winter all right you guys if you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up because it lets me and youtube know that you like this kind of content and if you do enjoy thrifty content then please do think about hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can come back and hang out some more and i'll catch you in the next one bye you guys